Hello, everyone, and welcome to this very important webcast. Dr. Pillai has an important message for us all. In January of this year, Dr. Pillai declared that this would be the year of miracles, both good and bad, and we've witnessed that unfold around the world. In the past, Dr. Pillai has talked about how destruction and dismantling of systems is needed for a new golden age to appear, a Satya Yuga age of truth is what he spoke about. And I feel that we're, we're seeing that unfold before our eyes. And today we're here with Dr. Pillai so he can give us deeper insight into what is really happening on a multiple levels. What is the spiritual emergency that's occurring right now? And how do we best use this time so we don't waste this amazing opportunity in our lifetime to truly transform and be part of the evolution of the planet and ourselves? So Dr. Pillai, thank you so much for being here today. And we are just thrilled that you'll be able to shed more light on this. I want to reduce uh, my organization for this presentation into a few key phrases. Personal profiteering. Because this kind of is a blanket term that is applicable for politicians who want profiteering, is applicable for business people who want personal profiteering, and also individuals who want profiteering, profiteering in all areas, profiteering in pleasure seeking, good food, alcohol, and uh, anything that satisfies our senses. And we want it to be, we want to have profiteering in that. And that is our, our nature. Is that our nature? That's, yes. And no. Yes, because we all relate to sense fulfillment, pleasure principle, and which we have to really sacrifice for the sake of the society to bring police in, to bring the judges in, and then, then there's uh, the legislations in all that we have artificially created in order so, so that we can live peacefully. We, this is a temporary solution and it has not worked. That's why I said we are now in a state of spiritual emergency. What do I mean by that? We should not live by the body, mind and the senses. We should live by the spirit. What do, we, what do I mean by the spirit? The spirit is something that is bigger than all these uh, senses, mind, body. And what is that? That is the life force. We don't live that. Who is Who has lived that? The people who have lived that are people who just wanted to get beyond the senses, beyond the mind, beyond the body, and then found something better than pleasure principle. If I'm going to tell you, forget about pleasure principle, nobody is going to listen to it. So everybody is uh, geared to personal profiteering on the level of the body, mind, and then you need money for all this. So that's where the problem is. So the only solution, to, at least in my opinion, uh, because I have thought over it a lot, is only if we live by the spirit, not by the flesh. This is the spiritual solution. My orientation has been, you know, those of you who have been following me now, 200% life. You have to fulfill your personal pleasure-seeking mode. But at the same time, what is even more interesting is not just pleasure, but bliss. And the bliss is something that is very natural to the spirit. So my spiritual emergency is to bring back bliss, making people to understand the bliss that is latent within, within us, which is not dependent on sex, money, food. It is not dependent on your ego satisfaction, but it is on the annihilation of your ego and getting beyond your money, food and sex and understand without any of these things, you can experience bliss. And how many people can do it? Very few. But then, it is doable. At least some, we have to try this and then find out. And uh, there is a chance that is given to us now by nature or God, if you want to call it God, 
everything has fallen apart. The economy globally has fallen apart. So what we can do, you know, conceptually is that bring back religion in a modified way without making people fanatic and then uh, create problems because more and more uh, the problems today we are facing uh, besides whatever we have through corona and uh, economic collapse is a religious problem. People are fighting in the name of religion. So that is, all this can be fixed by one common word and that is the spirit. Go by the spirit. We had learned to live by the spirit. If you live by the spirit, then there is no problem. So what is the spirit? So I have to be very concrete on that. The spirit is the life force and it is love, total love. Beyond this, you know, what makes you eye to see is the spirit, the heart to beat is the spirit. Okay, that, how can you experience that through contemplation through meditation but being still be still that know that you are God and when you are still when you are shutting the doors of these senses then you go and experience the spirit and what is that that is love then you don't fight and that is also <coughs> profiteering but a great profiteering unlimited profiteering then there, you can control your diseases, you can control everything if you are able to know the spirit and live the spirits. Will it work? It will work minimally for some people, not very 0.01 people, percent of the people might. Because as I said, relationship with the spirit or God is the solution. Relationship with another human being is not going to work. People, if they transcend their uh, mind, body, and the senses, they can get to this bliss. If you, you are already in bliss, you are drunk, completely drunk with what? With love. Okay, that is the solution. Finally, I want to give you a solution. Focus attention on your personal profiteering consciousness. You want pleasure, you want, and I, in order to have that, you have to have a nice home, a nice car, nice clothes, nice sunglass, nice whatever, and for which you need to have money. And money doesn't fall off the roof. And how do you get money? You have to change your mindset, your prosperity consciousness. That is why this great saint Vishwamitra gave me this sound because this is a king, he a, must be a crazy king. He thought that every king, every citizen of his country should have the same kind of lifestyle that he had. So he went to this spiritual path and then came up with a sound. This sound will give you prosperity consciousness. Even scientists agree that consciousness is the basis for the universe. The string theory says that it is just sound waves, string, harmony, sounds that create, that has created the world. So the same principle here. In the beginning, there was the word and the word was with God and God said, let there be light and light was there. So the sounds can create. And one of the sounds that can create is the sound. Shreem Brizzy. So the bottom line is, you want to be strong before you give any advice to anyone else. So the, the solution, again, I want to close now by saying there is a spiritual solution. Spirit is transcendence, love. And it will take time. Everything is going to take time. No, nothing is going to happen instantaneously. Let it take time. At least down the road, we will be able to create uh, a civilization which is contented, fulfilled, love, and that is what is needed. And I think I have stated the problem and I have given some solutions, both on a, a theoretical level to create a, some sort of a utopia and on a very practical level 
paying your rent, paying your mortgage, paying for your bills, and that leads you to understand personal profiteering. And personal profiteering is creating a personally affluent consciousness. And that consciousness can be created with Shreem Rizhi, Shreem Rizhi, Shreem Rizhi, Shreem Rizhi, Shreem Rizhi. God bless.